Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interestinglife.com and you're joining me on board Narrowboat Tilly as we approach Bridge 13W and my goodness me there's going to be some drama when we get there. We're travelling at about half of walking speed as we uh, travel down towards the tunnel and because we're going upstream the boats coming down towards us have the right of way over us in a general technical sense. Sometimes it doesn't always work out like that but that's the general rule. So as you will notice we are travelling nice and slow, it's a lovely empty canal as far as we can see and everything's pretty much as you would expect. The camera is perched right on the very front of the boat, as you can see, just behind where the light is there. So the camera is seeing things before I can see them on the stern, obviously, as we get to corners and things like that. But just consider that Tilly is only about a, well, is only a 30 foot boat. If I was on a much bigger boat, 50, 60 foot, then there would be literally 50 foot plus between me and the camera. And that excess sort of extra visibility that the camera has and the early warning that the camera would have. Just how in the front of this boat that's about to enter the tunnel, I believe that there was somebody, luckily, sat inside in the front of the boat to raise the alarm. As, as you can see, the camera and me could now see this boat and you'll see that Tilly starts to uh, shift all over the canal. Whereas the person on the tiller still hasn't come into line of sight of us at this point even. So luckily they uh, were, had the alarm raised. You can see Tilly's already at a stop to the point that the bow is starting to wiggle about as the engine starts to pull us back into the side. So you can imagine I was very keen, especially because it was a holiday boat, to get well out of the way so you just have that moment of wobbling around on the canal. I've cut out a few little clips over this just to um, protect people's identities and not show super duper close-ups but you can see basically I just reversed out and with the flow of the water as well that really helps to just push you back and get you right out of the way really quickly whereas if I was going the other way and if I'd have tried to force them to reverse back up then that obviously would have been far more difficult for them to have reversed because the flow of water was not with them. It was pushing them down towards me. So in my proactive way as usual of trying to get out of harm's way, as I say, it was just a nice easy thing of reverse back with the flow of water and then pull her into the side. And while I was stood on the side holding her in, it was not a steady, stable surface at all to be standing on. So there was certainly one moment where I put my foot down onto what I thought was the solid surface of the ground only to find myself heading further and further towards the canal. But as the second boat that went past went past pretty quickly, you can see that I'm still struggling to actually get forward momentum going here because the water had sort of sucked me back with it. And then, of course, entering into a narrower part of the canal going through this bridge here, that is, again, putting water flowing against you in a far more concentrated, faster flow than just a few feet back from the entrance to the tunnel. Equally, I would point out here that as we head in, one of the things that would have helped to sort of cut visibility going through this and having those boats coming towards me was, first of all, you can see the trees on the left hand side here, which even as we're coming through the tunnel, and again, remember that the camera is a good 25 foot or so ahead of me at this point so I'm still not able to see around the corner past these trees to like the second boat that's on the towpath side just ahead there the lighter blue one and that obviously if you're on one of those longer holiday boats is going to be a lot more visibility um, sort of cut off between what the front of the boat could theoretically see and what you stood on the stern can actually see and equally coming through this set of four boats here I mean, I personally would probably um, travel closer to the towpath side if I was coming downstream. But with boats being moored up there, obviously you would have to turn in after those. And you obviously can't get as close to the side earlier on to try and peer down and see if anything was coming up through the bridge like I normally do. But of course, that's not at all saying that these boats are doing anything wrong because they're just moored up there as passive boats sat at the side. And this, um, interestingly, for anybody who's interested, on the left-hand side, that space in the middle, at the very least, the last time I was down there a couple of weeks ago, was still up as an available long-term mooring. Anyway, I'm going to pull in and moor up on the towpath side after this uh, blue boat here. 
And I suppose on that note, I will wrap things up and say, I hope that you've enjoyed this random video. I thought I would try a more sort of useful practical demonstration video rather than just another one of me talking at the camera about goodness knows what and how much I love the chilly nights coming in and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, there'll be plenty more stuff like this to come. Feel free to subscribe and check out almost 200 boat videos already on the channel, as well as loads of kayaking and walking and biking and plenty of stuff from the general scenery and great outdoors in this sort of region. Also, feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter or like the Facebook page if you want more general pictures and photos from Canal Life. And feel free to support me by checking out my books available for the Kindle. Check out The Narrowboat Lad, only £1.53. And hopefully I will see you around very soon. Oh, one last thing. I've also changed the website to a simple Tumblr website. So it's filled with more videos and pictures than ever. So check out a sort of interest in life.com and hopefully you'll enjoy what you find there. Until the next time, have a fantastic day. Keep it boat worthy and farewell.